Hello everyone, today I'm going to discuss the topic integration. So here we have the definite integral. So given the situation, integrate the function fx with respect to x. And we will have the capital F x, which is a cumulative, plus the c. Thus, integrate the function fx with respect to x. For this case, we already add on the limit from a to b, which is for the function capital F with the value b minus with the function capital F with the value a. Here we have the properties of definite integral. Kindly refers to the properties. So the first one, integrate the function fx with respect to x and we will obtain 0 if the limit is from a to a. Next, the second one, integrate the function fx with respect to x from the limits a to b, which is equals to negative. Integrate for the function fx with respect to x only if the value of the limits is interchange, where a to b interchange from b to a. Next, integrate c with a constant with respect to x from the limits a to b. And we will obtain c multiply with b minus a, where c is a constant. Next, integrate the c constant multiply with the function fx with respect to x from the limit a to b, which is equals to factor out the constant c and then rewrite the situation, integrate the function fx with respect to x from the limit a to b. Next, integrate the function fx plus minus gx with respect to x from the limit a to b which is equals to we can split the function into two integral where we have integrate the function fx with respect to x for the limits a to b plus minus integrate the function gx with respect to x for the limits a to b the final properties that we have in here is integrate the function fx with respect to x for the limits a to c, which is equals to we can split the limit from a to b for the function fx with respect to x plus integrate for the function fx with respect to x from b to c, where we have the domain b is greater than equals to a and less than equals to c. So here we are and thanks for watching.